This unit is our DTP04 side shifter palletizer. Comes in a standard version or an ATEX version as well. It straddles the pallet, so the legs go down the pallet. You can see here we have two pallets. You have a gap down the side. The pallets could be against the wall and it'll access all drums without moving the pallet. So let's start off here. You've got this pump assembly here and we can pump the handle and raise the grip at the top. We turn this to lower and we can also side shift this to any position. So let's take off the first drum. They're full of water, so they weigh about 218 kilos each. So we wheel over to the pallet. The wheels go down the side. You can adjust the center point for the grip. We watch the catch through the guard. We lower down so it connects on. And then we pump this handle here. It's so easy to use considering that drum weighs about 218 kilos. Then we use this handle then as a tiller. So we just maneuver around. And when we want to put the drum down, we can actually unlock this and we can move this. And then we use this handle here. And as soon as there's no weight on the unit, we flip the catch off. We can move this back in the middle if we want. And then we're ready to get the next drum. So the next drum, we're going to take off this L-ring plastic here. Again, it's full of water. Just maneuver around. Wheels go down the side of the pallet. And then we can pump the handle here just to raise the grip back up to the top of the drum. Side shift across. Catch is now connected. We'll lift it off. Maneuver out. Now with this one, we want to move over. Simply move there. We can place it right alongside that other drum there. As soon as the weight is off, we release the catch and we come back. Now the next drum on our list is this Mauser drum. Often a very tricky drum to, for drum handling units to pick up. But with this, we simply change one catch setting and we can pick it up. So the front of the unit here, we'll show you a close up of this. We just literally take a pin out, we move this into a forward position. I say we'll show you a close-up of this, so show you how to do it. Then we can maneuver the back. And go over the pallet again, just pump the handle, brings the catch back up to the top. It's a very tall mouser this, so we just maneuver in. We can then side shift across the middle of the drum. And lock again. Catch has now gone round the drum. We watch through the guard as we pick it up. And then we manoeuvre away. Again, we can side shift this. the middle, wheel it forward, as soon as there's no weight on the drum, we lift and we go back. So it's a very easy way to eliminate manual handling of drums. Also we can set the catch at different heights, so we can do even like 50 litre small drums we can take the lid off, we can even take the lid off the mouse and pick it up, uh, and even open top drums. We're now looking at the control part. So here we have our lowering valve, and this is our locking side shift toggle. So if I lift this, we can move this side to side. 
And then when we've centered, we want to lock the carriage, simply just lock there. That's now locked. And this handle here will lower down. So what we do is just open. The more we turn it, the more it will go down. And that's it. If we let go, just self locks and we're ready to lift again. We're now looking at the top clamp assembly and this is the part that connects to the drum. So this top one here we call a top hook and you handle it by picking up this end piece. And then this is the bottom toggle, this one. This goes underneath the lip of the drum and this goes over the top. We can adjust this. So for most drums, it's in a standard setting, which is the back bottom hole. You can see here, you have these row of holes and it's in the bottom hole. For a Mauser drum, which has got a big fat lip at the top, we want to adjust this out. So we have an R pin here. So you just have this R pin on a chain. We grab hold of the top hook and we pull the pin out. So this is the top hook. And we refit in this top hole here. So we place it in, put the pin through, put the R clip back. So you notice now the gap here between the bottom toggle and the top hook is very large. And this will actually grab around the top lip of Mauser drums. We can also reposition this. So if you've got a very short drum, we can take this R pin out of the bottom catch, take the pin out, as your pin and catch. We then can lift this off. See here, this is the section where it actually plugs into the unit. It just literally sits on top. We put the pin back, but we can take it off and we can put it in a lot lower position. So this now, we can pick up very small drums from this position. The standard position for 200 litre drums is this top rung here. So let's refit, put it in, hooks over, take our securing pin here, put it in the bottom and put your R pin back in. And that's it. So it's set now in the Mauser setting at the correct height, ready to go. We're now focused in looking at the kick plate. So this plate here, this pushes on the bottom of the drum. If you wanted the drum to be more vertical, we can put this out. So this spaces the bottom of the drum out and makes it more vertical. For most applications, we'll have it folded up out of the way. And certainly for all Mausers, we'll have it flicked up out of the way. So this just sits here, but it's there should you want to be more vertical. We're now looking at the top hook, which we're going to connect to this Mauser. So the first thing is raise, come up, come over the drum, right in the center. You see the top hook is over the top of the drum now. We lower down, bottom toggle goes underneath the band. And then as we pump the handle, we watch the drum and we lift. And we can see there we have a nice secure connection and we're ready to go.